Hey everyone, so today I did a little farmer's market haul and I got all these awesome yummy peaches. I'm so excited to paint them. I'm also going to can them and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So these are packed in a really light sugar syrup and they're sealed in those jars so they're going to last for years. This is actually really easy to do but I'm not going to lie it does take some time. So let's start. So first thing I want to make my syrup and this is two quarts of water and one cup of sugar and you want to bring this to a boil for five minutes and then take it off the heat and let it cool completely. Now I have to take the skins off the peaches so I have here a pot of boiling water and I'm gonna wash them off really well and you don't want to use peaches that are too soft you want them to be ripe but still a little bit firm. So now you'll want to take a paring knife and cut an X on the bottom of each peach like this and then drop it into the boiling water. So this is going to help loosen the skin so that peeling them will be a snap. And you don't want to cook the peaches, you just want them in there long enough to loosen those skins. Just maybe about a minute or so. And then take them out right away. And this is called blanching and this is how easily the skin comes off when you do this. You see? Now you know why you make that X on the bottom. And I really love doing this. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But voila, that's how you peel a peach. So I just did that to all of them and now I'm cutting them into quarters or even fifths and you can cut them into halves if that's what you'd rather do. And the pieces come off really easily and I'm just dropping them into the sugar syrup I made earlier. And it's kind of important that the sugar syrup is cooled completely but if you make it first by now it will be. And if you have a peach with some brown on it like this one, don't freak out. Just cut the brown part off and the rest of the peach is good. Now silly me, I don't know how I thought 40 peaches would fit in that pot, but they don't. So I'm just dividing this among two pots. I don't know what I was thinking, but make sure you use the right size pot. So when that's done, it's time to sterilize the jars. So I have here 12 500 milliliter jars, and I'm going to bake them at 220 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And you can also boil them for 10 minutes, that's another way to do it, but I think this way is a lot easier. While the jars are sterilizing, I'm going to heat the peaches over the stove and I'm just going to let them come to a boil and then turn off the heat because I don't really want to cook them, I just want to get them nice and hot before they go into the jars. Now I have 12 jars all together but I only want to fill 6 for now because I want my jars to be really really hot when I do this. The other 6 jars are still in the oven because if I try to fill all 12 at once, they'll start to cool down because everything has to be really hot. This is called hot packing, go figure. And you want to drop the peaches in so they're cut side down like this because that way you'll be able to fit the most amount into each jar. And for a 500 milliliter jar, you should be able to fit three large peaches into each one. Okay, now I took my hot syrup and I put it into a pitcher and now I'm pouring it into each jar. And you'll want to fill it so it's about a quarter inch from the top. And then you have to take a spatula or something similar and slide it down the side of each jar. And this will release any air bubbles that are trapped in there. And you're going to notice that the liquid level will go down. And in that case, you just top it up with more liquid and it should come to a quarter inch from the top of each jar. So while this is happening, I have here boiling in a pot my lids and my screw bands and you want to boil these for five minutes and not only does this sterilize them it also softens that rubber ring on each lid so you'll get a really good seal when you process your peaches okay you can't skip this step before you put the lids on wipe the rims of each jar with a damp paper towel because if there's any stickiness on there they might not seal then you can put a lid on each jar and don't reuse last year's lids. Always use brand new lids. You can reuse last year's screw bands. That's these things here that tightens them on, but always use brand new lids. And when you tighten the screw bands on, only make them finger tight. That means tight enough that they won't leak while they're in the canner, but loose enough to allow a little bit of air to escape when they're processing. So now over here on the stove, I have my water canner and it's basically just a big pot of boiling water and it's almost ready to go. You do want the water to be boiling and when that happens, you can start lowering your jars into this water and I'm only going to do half for now because I don't want them to be too crowded and make sure your jars are completely submerged under the water. Now process these for 20 minutes with the lid on and then start taking them out of the canner and be careful because they're going to be really hot for quite a long time. And when you start to hear those lids pop, that's it. It's official. Your peaches are now sealed. 
Hey you guys, you know I love sharing my recipes and painting pictures for you all, so if you haven't already, hit your subscribe button. I also love to hear from you, so leave me a comment, let me know how my recipes are working for you, and I will see you soon. Bye!